just made an enemy of someone I don't know and they are upset about something that I must have done but it really doesn't make much sense and I've got no statement in my defense I know no matter what no matter who no matter what I do somebody hates me somebody hates me somebody hates me Somebody hates me, somebody hates me, and I hate somebody too. Oh, did you misunderstand something that I said, or was it one of my jokes that you didn't get? Do you think you got the way I think I'll figure it out? What did I say? To make you feel not cool now. I know, no matter what, no matter who, no matter what I do, somebody hates me. Somebody hates me, somebody hates me. Somebody hates me, somebody hates me, and I hate somebody too. I know it's wrong, and I do it too. I guess I should say, don't let it get to you. I know, no matter what, no matter who, no matter what I do, somebody hates me. Somebody hates me, somebody hates me. Somebody hates me, somebody hates me. Somebody hates me, 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 and I hate somebody too. 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 Somebody like you. Hi, I'm Scrappy Groove. Welcome to Bad Luck Good Game. That was some real big fish, and of course, somebody hates me. It's usually, usually uh, the Duffler that hates me. Today, uh, we're going to continue playing the pile that we've been playing because. It's what I like. I've got enough reps with it that I'm enjoying it. Even though the format is still not good. Uh, and I don't know how good it is into Hinata. I don't care about any of this. Guy that looks vaguely like Mike Patton. Why is the why is red and black also red? I don't understand. Why are we both red? Anyway, anything in the store? I don't care. So we are. Where are we? I thought it would be funny to uh, attempt to get to Mythic. So y'all can just watch me drop down to like diamond three. <laughs> um, we're going to continue to be playing our um, deck that we had tuned to be, is it Hanada a little more? We cut one land and we added a uh, duress, cut a uh, voltage surge and a land. We added two duress to the main. We also cut all of our five drops out of this deck and we're just running the, uh, we also cut the um, Envoy, just running three Riveteer's Charms. Because all the modes on Riveteer's Charms are pretty reasonable, and in a format with Hinata and Goldspan Dragon, and uh, oh, mainly those, uh, you want Soul Shatter, and this acts as a Soul Shatter that deals with those problem creatures, as well as Planeswalkers, as well as potentially killing an opposing Graveyard Trespasser in a one for one instead of a two for one. And if it doesn't do any of those things, It'll let you look at three cards 
and most of the time that gets you two cards out of those three to be playable. Although many times we have just flipped three. Professional gamer right here. Uh, our sideboard is pretty much the same stuff it's always been. We uh, added a Tenacious Underdog as an additional two-drop here that I want to bring in against control decks to apply more pressure. Uh, we, of course, have a couple more Unleashes in the sideboard, a couple of Meat Hooks that were once in the main, but the card seems to be less and less effective. I don't even know if it deserves a sideboard slot. A couple Gold Blanks, and I believe we still have a third Graveyard Trespasser in here because it just seems to be generically good. We also bring it in against aggro opponents because anything that makes them uh, have to two for one to keep attacking and give us a chance to pivot if they break. It's felt decent, but nothing is broken. Wait, Hinata broken. Here we go. I apologize that there's still essentially no music. Um, but that is not my fault. That is the stupid program's fault. Uh, sure, yeah. Really? Here? Fairly unusual. Oh, they did nothing for turn two and three. I think we're really set up. I guess. Okay. Um. Get another red. And keep them off of their acceleration, I think. Oh, we just unleashed the Inferno. What are we even, what are we even doing? Why debate it? Do the best possible thing we can do. Now they need to answer our, uh, our Kiki. Okay, so this is a lower to the ground version of the deck than we are currently playing. Oh, jeez. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Um, I don't think we want to ditch our... Oh, man. Oh. Hi. How you doing? Um... I think we're just like getting the the free card, right? That's what we're doing. Get rid of this thing. And yeah. Get a free card. Free cards are great. Oh, he has Riveteer's Charm he could burn here. Yep. Oh, okay. Kind of thought he was going to block our, uh, our Tenacious with that. Not doing anything for turns two and turns three. Hand on the draw just didn't seem like that was going to be a winnable situation for our opponent. So they're running Riveteer and probably also Tenacious. So we want these. Eventually deny them that value. 
Also bring in our third graveyard trespasser. Want both our infernos, but what do we cut for them? Um, the draw, this card is a lot less good. Cut two chariots. Call it a day. Oh, me in my gut. Cool. Red, black, love. Okay. Let's pick a thing. I'm going to kill it. Doesn't matter. We stopped using Valky a long time ago. Card does not feel good enough. Even close to good enough. Back. We still do this first. Gives us the ability to potentially remove a problem permanent. This gives us the second red we need down the line for Bloodthirsty. Gives, this gives us a second black for nothing. But. Um, okay. This is a weird choice. I guess that means if I sacrifice my token, that grows. Interesting. Up your upkeep for more counters, you may remove all of them if you exile each other non land permanent and value less than or equal. Okay, guess we're just getting this out of our way, keeping all that life. Untapped land would be ideal here. And just do this again, I guess. Nixler. Interesting. This is the old aggro version we, we have not played in a very long time. Defy me, and you lose everything. So the voltage surge this. Uh-huh. Kill one of these. Play... Yeah. Wipe that smug look this? Face. Sure. Me now, runt. now I think we pitch the underdog to try to find the untapped land. That's it. Okay. And a miss. And a miss. Real. Unfortunate.
for removal. This thing out of here. My empire crumbles. Gosh, we can't find the fifth land, huh? Although we do have plenty of good cards. They are flooding. Great hit. Should have been more specific, huh? We have just Voltage Surge we can get back right now. Board of Critter if he has a Critter. Yeah. That was not going to get in there. Mirror deck that is more mid rangey beats the aggro deck. Terribly surprising. Look a playable hand to me. Have uh, Esper. Oh, nope. Oh, Kamiwar. Kamiwar deck. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any good play to make here. Probably just nuking our uh, our blood token here. Um, yeah. So definitely the Kami War deck. land by a lot. If this deck is a good enough draw, you definitely KO us pretty easily. Plays much like the uh, plays much like the Jeskai Hanada deck. In that it's largely uninteractive. You just get five colors of mana very, very quickly and then cast broken things over and over again. Give your target permanent. Sacrifice a permanent or the card type. Chosen card. Two. Chosen card. Really understand what's happening here. Oh, he can sack this to get that back. Uh, yeah, we're probably just dead. This isn't isn't something we interact with. No, oh, it's a shame. We just want a really good game, but we're gonna auto lose this one. Can bring in one more duress and I guess our other two unleash the infernos, but that's all we've got. Extremely 
be flooded. target a thing, but I'll have to discard if we target a trespasser. Oh, we bring in our go blanks here, too. Shardra has been pretty, pretty bad. Fuck. Open your books to page 17 or something. I'll be in my office. Learn the power of death. Uh, really good top deck. gross. Probably means we're dead. Yep. Okay, well. Again, all our unleashes and hope. Oh, that was like the worst thing he could have gotten. What are we looking at? Magma Opus? Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, it's probably good enough. Probably good enough. Get a window, and that window is now closed. Window is now closed. We're bringing Graveyard Trespasser, the Duress, and um, everybody. Pretty frustrating to get paired against a weird combo deck, like with one win to get in, huh? I have a creature land out there now, too. Oh, he can sack the Celestis to get back for you. Draw three. Oh. Huh. It's just, like, forces him to, uh, activate the stupid den. Doesn't actually get us anywhere. Um, I 
can make it a four, so I think we're just doing this. Yep. Means the five, right? I'll do it. That'll do it. Duress, no blank, graveyard trespass. These. More pressure. Unfortunate matchup. Unfortunate matchup. No two drops, no rest. Are in trouble. Right on time. Gives us the second black we need to recur him. He's good. Okay. Board wipe. Play this, and we might just burn our uh, our treasures to cycle. Sitting duck to a board wipe at the moment. Okay. Um, not great.
Well. Yeah, not, not an interactive deck. Jesus fucking Christ. Who just has an answer every fucking turn? Um. Chariot's been pretty good here, huh? Brought in a bunch of board wipes. Chariot's been something I can leave out there. They might be dead. Does in fact look like they are dead. I guess if we draw one of those duresses at some point in the game and we can have an idea of what we're facing. Um I think we're probably fine. Probably fine. Need to hit those Maybe we need a fourth duress in here. Full matchups. Well, if we hit some land. And? Allow us to tracker and duress. And I might end up killing my own goblin to get rid of the prismatic bridge. That is the correct play. If 
got five, six, seven. We don't have enough to do both of these. Okay. And, yep. And there we go. I believe that is the thing, right? We need one more of those. Okay, we can we can retire now, right? It's over. What do you what do you mean the game doesn't end there? Oh, uh, this is the ghosts and goblins ending, right? Like I got to the end and it's like this was an illusion devised by Satan. Go ahead again, move forward dauntlessly. Yeah, you just beat the hardest game in the world. Beat it a second time for the real ending. Okay. Okay. Well, there it is, folks. There's the stupid brass ring. Got one more pack at the end of the month. Whee! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But we, we achieved something. Albeit purposeless. We're going to play one more in. Oh, ooh. Just, you just don't care what's going on. Cool as a cucumber in a bowl of hot sauce. Oh. <laughs> Don't usually want to be used for bloodthirsty and two, but it's fine. We're actually drawn really good today so far. Pretty crazy. Kept like multiple seven card hands. Are we off Wizards shit list at this point? I wonder what this is. If it's Golgari, then it's usually the um, Invoke Despair deck. It wants to cast Invoke a bajillion times. We're gonna have lots of sweepy deepies. Boopa doopers. Abzan, huh? Um. another four color army deck another four color kami deck um okay there's no reason for us to commit anything more to the board than we could get swept no it's gonna pass a clue
pretty inevitable there. Inevitable and obvious. And we're just moving towards Titan, right? It's really hard to beat. Like this deck doesn't have any way to um, really profitably grind through. What's the problem? What's the problem? What is? It? <laughs> How did we end up playing the same deck twice? Like out of all the possibilities, we ended up playing like exactly the same deck twice. So bizarre. Um, okay, do it again, I guess. Same exact deck. Same exact deck. Yep. Just like a popular streamer just like dropped this deck and I'm be nothing but this for a while. Not super into that. It's a really unfavorable matchup for us. Those aggro matches up good into this, but control tends to go right over the top of mid range pretty effectively. slow too. Just throwing as much damage at a, an opponent who's relying on sweepers is got to be what we're supposed to be doing here, right? Pretty close to dead.
I think that's death on the field then. Like death to me. What can we cut for the rest? Black and red that allows us to play our adversary. Get to it. Looks like a good time to uh, go blank. Black, black, red, red. Counter. Now that he's top decking. say I'd be pretty okay with that um yeah leaves riveteers up Pretty screwy uh, top decks from our opponent, huh? Doesn't matter, though. So, I might not like playing against the deck, because I hate all control decks equally. But, uh... We don't seem to be doing too bad against it. Beat it both times. Look at this and see if there's a place I can put a... Uh, fourth to rest. Flame Blast Bolts are against the force off mid range. Um, it's value with uh, the Extractioner. I find these to be valuable because that matchup is pretty hard to win. Raven Feeblements, obviously, against Boros Aggro and uh, Mono White and all that shit. Occasionally, Esper. Reckoner Bank Busters against larger control enemies. Eh, I don't think there's anything I can really switch around. I like it the way it is. I'm going to try one more and uh, see if we are still playing nothing but the same opponent.
Good run today. What are y'all playing? Apparently, uh, this is in the tier one category. So it says John Master himself, uh, the Duke. He said this was uh, fifth in his power countdown. This guy Hanada being number one. I think Grixis Vampires being number three. He puts um, mid range Grixis Vampires in tier one, but he puts Grixis Control, that version that I thought looked fishy and wasn't very good. Uh, he put that 10. He doesn't consider Teamer a real competitor either in tier one, which I'm a little skeptical on that. Just ramping the Titan of Industry is difficult to beat. Not a lot of cards that manage that, that threat package. Your opponent's casting on like turn five, you're, you're in deep shit. Oh, this is going to be the uh, the enchantment that lets you blink all your shit. Another enchantment deck. Plan's probably going to be the same. Hmm. A lot of value out of that planeswalker. The one one back. Yep, yep. Graveyard shenanigans. Gotta bring him to go blank again. Oh, thanks. We want to exile our graveyard. Yeah, it's probably a corner case, huh? Farewell would definitely be a concede here. Hit the Legion Angel. Probably game. Extremely dead to farewell.
Interesting. So we're bringing in all the unleashes. Gross. A lot of clues, but not all the time in the world. Gross. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Wish I could cast that unleash this time, but it's gross. Extremely gross. Okay, we'd actually rather have the creature. Something other than land there. Buddy, you've been on my lap for like the last half an hour. I've played for one hour. Okay. I can force through three. Don't have good options here. I really needed to be able to use that last turn. Now that that's a five, I can't. I don't have the option to destroy both. Fuck. Four land in a row, folks. Four land in a row. Dude. God. Um, trespassers are good because they're doing graveyard shenanigans. I don't know how hard they're doing graveyard shenanigans, but they're in blue, so they probably have memory as well. Yeah, fair assessment. Control, control. No two drop.
guess we are just the Riveteers charming and cracking a clue. Buddy. <sighs> Very hard to think with you constantly screaming. Just want you to know that. <laughs> All right. How you doing? Um, still has so much HP. I'm supposed to put the Briar Bridge out, right? Like, if they have a sweeper, we're just effed. Just no sweeper. We can Riveteer's Charm, but I don't find a ton of value in that. Yes. Cool. They bricked off, did not find removal. Lovely. Um, draw. Probably one. Blank. Got the grasp. Arresting. I'm cutting the go blank for another Reckoner Bank Buster, but probably. Not amazing, not terrible. Oh, absence. Well, doing this.
Not drawing the tools we need to interact with this guy at the moment. Of our charms or our unleash. Um. Hmm. That works for me. Here. Think this. We leave too many of the clues out here. The deck that could be running a uh, farewell. Gross. Just be dead to that. Probably dead to that. We have not drawn any of our interactive tools. So, uh, yeah. Stuff. We're just Riveteers charming. Try to find our thing to kill. Um, rest. I think we're dead. I'm not confident. We're dead. all right folks that's going to be it for today uh we did get to mythic we went i think four and one uh we played against control pile control pile control pile control pile uh the format feels pretty fucking stale now that we've achieved mythic we're probably not going to be playing again for a while until um things change until it happens that yeah. And, you know, thanks for those who have, uh, the few of you, like two of you, maybe, <laughs> that have watched some of these videos. And if you've enjoyed them or learned anything about how to play, that's awesome. Um, thanks for spending some of your valuable time with me. And uh, we'll catch you later. Boom.